Good morning, friends. I'm Kunal Bair, founder and director of Dave Energy Resources, based at New Delhi, India. And I'm happy to introduce my company to you. At Dave Energy Resources, we install solar devices for rural livelihoods, and we focus on the silk production in India. Some of our products are shown on the screen. The one on the left is called Unnati. This is one of our first products launched in 2012. This is a solar powered silk yarn spinning machine. A few thousand of these machines are installed in hundreds of villages. Second one is a solar powered loom. This is an upgrade for people using regular traditional hand looms. And the last one that you see is called Bunyad. It's a micro machine for making silk yarn. It's one of our latest products. I'd also like to introduce some of our key partners. These include Silco Foundation, the Silk Board of India, Jharcraft, and Resham Sutra. Our partners are very important in our scheme of things because they help us in getting financing for our customers and in forming linkages for raw material and finished products. We'll be discussing more about that later. Our mission is to enable and improve livelihoods in the rural silk production. We leverage market technology and rural business model to do this. Let me give you a brief introduction to the silk industry in India. Silk cocoons are grown here mostly in the forest and tribal people living close to the forest have rights over certain areas of forest from where they can collect the cocoons. These are then sold to the traders and middlemen and then passed on to the weaving families. Typically, all the people of uh, weaver, ha weaver household, these are the husband, the wife, and often the kids are engaged in fabric weaving and yarn production. Their average income is about 16 cents per hour. The problem with this industry is that nothing has changed over many decades and even centuries. These people are still using primitive methods and techniques, simple devices made out of cycle wheels, and even very painful methods. Like a lot of silk yarn is made by women by twisting it on their thigh, which is an inhuman method and has great health hazards. This also results in extremely poor quality of product. The young generation definitely doesn't want to do this. And these people have hardly any other job options in the village. At best, they can get some job as a labor on a construction site or farms. Our solution is solar powered machines. These are compact, affordable, modern, high productivity machines that make the whole job of making silk yarn and fabric much easier. Our first machine, Onnati, is an in house development. We own the IP rights to this machine. It has 4x the production of traditional methods and the yarn produced by this machine is twisted silk yarn which competes with the best imported yarn in the market. Bunyat is a micro machine specifically made to replace the thigh reeling quality of silk. Sun Karga is solar powered loom. This has two to three times production of a traditional loom. Overall, we have a lineup of eight products covering different qualities and different customer segments. Our value proposition for the user is clean, productive work right in the village. For the rural women, this is a big boon as they can find work right at home. The machines make this work very easy to learn. So any new user can be taught to make all these products as well. All our machines are very appropriate for rural use as they are extremely compact and they're all solar powered. 
since it's a very modern, clean, easy to do work, young generation wants to do this. Our business model is centered around our production infrastructure. We have our own design facilities to produce new machine designs, which are then assembled in our assembly lines. We have tie-ups with our partners to help our customers get financing for purchasing these machines. We have deep training and support networks in the villages. Since these are livelihood products that we are dealing in, so we make sure that the downtime is minimal. We have our own training facilities as well as tie-ups with training facilities in the villages. We have trained over 10,000 women to operate the machines. Then we also have partnerships which allow us to offer end-to-end -end solution to the customers. These include better sourcing of raw material and getting better pay for the end product. Our revenue streams include machine sales, after sales services, post warranty, and livelihood projects. Our impact so far, over 7,000 machines have been installed in 350 villages. 28,000 people have been directly impacted. The income of families using our machine has doubled to about $160 per month. We have also trained 50 rural entrepreneurs to offer service to the machines. Using solar power, we've been able to offset about 900 tons of carbon dioxide. The market potential is pretty big. We, out of 200,000 silk product producing households in India, 90% still use primitive methods and techniques, and they are all located in rural areas. So these are ready customers for us to convert to our machines. Apart from this, we also focus on new first-time users. For example, we are working with groups that help to rehabilitate women that have been trafficked. Um, business is quite scalable because silk production is concentrated in specific geographies and raw material production to Conversion to fabric, the entire chain is focused in the same areas. The strategic initiatives we have undertaken, these include silk service centers. We foresee these centers as kind of car dealerships where customers can come and test drive the machines so they can make more informed choice about using them. These centers also become hubs for after sales service and training. We have already started setting up a first service center with a rural franchisee. Forming new partnerships is an extremely important thing for our company. These partners help us to deepen our engagement with our customers. And they also help us to expand our reach. We are planning to set it up as a separate division in the company and we hope to double our partnerships in 27, 2017. The Rural Product Lab is a new initiative that is focused at increasing our engagement with rural innovators. A lot of our products have originated from ideas that came from the villages themselves. So here we are trying to institutionalize this process and this will help us to decrease the time required to take a product from idea to a commercial marketable product. We have a very well-defined organization structure now. Our team is uh, 40 people. Most of the core team has been together for the last four years. And our team is growing.
some of our financial highlights. We hope to be able to reach 100,000 beneficiaries by 2020. We are a profitable company. The financing activities will help us to grow faster than what's possible organically. Our financial ask is $250,000 over three years. This would include grants and investments. We are also interested in forming partnerships for end user financing and for product marketing. Before I end, I'd like to share a testimonial from some of our customers. Karib, jaise jo kaam karti hai, oise, bolo 5,000 se 6,000 tak. Ei saal to dhan hua nahi, ham log kheti achha se hua nahi. To ham log tesar ka kaam se hi, bolo kaam chalate bhi hai, ghar parivar bhi chalta hai, ham log ka bacha sab ki maintenance hota hai, aur kya bolenge, kuch bank mein bhi paisa rakhte hain. अब हम लोग बहुत खुश हैं कि हम लोग को घर बैठे हुनर मिल रहा है अब पहले क्या था कि सिर्फ मर्द पर ही हर कुछ डिपेंड करता था आजकल औरतें मर्द मर्दों के साथ दे रही है मैनेज करके दोनों के बराबर बराबर चलता है थैंक यू फॉर योर टाइम आई लुक फॉरवर्ड टू योर क्वेश्चंस एंड एनी कमेंट्स